negative, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm almost wrong with you. Yes, sir. I was? All right, here we go. Um, Lauren, a three and one eighths, how do we deal with that one, please? Um, like Not quite yet. You want to deal with the mixed number, I think, first. So that three and one eighth thing is tricky. Remember back from the previous example here? How do you do? Somebody help her. That's okay. I'll go back to the next one. How do you do with three and one eighths? Okay, we've got so many hands. I don't know anyone's name. Hold on. I don't know anyone's name. We don't know anyone's name. Lauren, go ahead. How do you do with three and one eighths? Okay, go ahead. How do I do that? Twenty-five over eight. So remember, we're just going to do for this one three times eight and then plus one, so it's almost twenty-five over eight. Use the perfect second set though. The second set is perfect. What do you say for your second set? Um, three times four is three plus five. Yeah. Perfect. Submit a calculator or a brain for this one. I forgot Grace. Grace, you know what 25 times 5 is right here? Um, Very good. You know what 8 times 5 is? Okay, uh, Kaylee, do you know what negative 2 times 8 is? Or just 2 times 8 is a minus. 5 times 8 is? Okay, how do I know Jeffrey? Do you Jeffrey or Jeff? Nine. Okay, Jeffrey, how do I know? Sorry, I'm here. That's okay. Uh, how do I know that I've done the first steps right? How do I know this is looking good? Just anybody here. How do I know this is looking good? Right? The, same. the same denominator. Okay, if you're going to and one is 32 and one is 40, you didn't do it right. Okay, right? you got to do the same. All right, Jeffrey, to finish up, what's my very last step? Good, which I think is 109. Now, it didn't work out for this case. What should you do at this step, though? Go ahead. Yeah, you can you can try and reduce it. Now, 40 is only 5 times 8, right? Which is 5 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 109 doesn't divide by 2, and 109 doesn't divide by 5, so we're good. Okay, right? But you should always look for reduce it if you can. Does this come back for most people? I have one hideous question to end with, because this will be what's on your test. This is what I wonder. 40 doesn't divide by 3. Well, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. so it's, 40, it's okay. I like what you're thinking, though. You're good. I like what you're thinking, though. That's good. Okay. Here's the hideous one that's going to be on your test. Right. 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 Before you freak out, I'm going to give you some guidance before I set you on this one yourselves, okay? I'm going to give you some guidance. Even me as a math teacher can't deal with three things at once. So you have two options. Number one is, you forget this guy's even here, and you subtract those two, and once you get the result, then you add the three and a half. Option number two is to do a super common denominator with three of them. Okay? That's a more complicated step. Okay? But you can do a super common denominator. So if you got 4 and 3 and 2, that would be 12 to be a super common denominator, okay? So you do that if you want to. The other option is just to do these two, and that's the easy way that I would do. And then combine it and then do 3 and a half at the end. Okay, either way will work. If you're sitting now, can I start on please? Uh, if I sit back to the left. Um, Again, if it's too much, just do two steps at a time, okay? So with two and one quarters, make a mixed number. Make it do one and one third, make it a mixed number. Sorry. Wait, just make Improper fraction, one time you say. Two and one quarter, improper fraction. One and one third, improper fraction. Three and a half, improper fraction. Add the first two, then add the last one. Yes? Is the middle one negative or equal to subtract? Either one. You mean the same thing. I can count as subtract. You can do it as subtract. Like two and one quarter, subtract one and one third. Just to try your best. If you're sitting there and not quite sure if you're doing any encouragement, you know, uh, pat on the shoulder, uh, raise your hand, I can come and encourage you. Um, can you change the first one into an improper fraction, please? Nine or four, very good. So that's two times four is eight, plus one is nine. Awesome.
Um, oh, my mind's gone blank. Sorry, Carter, can you change 101 to an improper action, please? <clears throat> 101, um, improper action. 5 over 3? 0. 4. So 1 times 3 is 3, right? Oh, yeah. 3 plus 1 is 4. Something happened there, right? Okay, 4 over 3. And, uh, KL, can you do the last one? 3 on 1 half change of into? Was this turned into an improper? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. So I'm what I'm, the way I'm going to do this question is I'm on the board. And you can do it the whole way if you want to. I'm just going to deal with those two and I'm going to just leave out the seven over two until the end. If you want to do all three with a super common denominator, you can have an issue with that. Okay, right? But it's a little bit easier to do it this way, I think, so it's less confusing. Alright, Anna, if you go first, please. What do we do here? Uh, four times three. Yeah, so let's go here for this one times three, and this one times four. Very good. Okay, so nine times three is? Six. I can increase by seven. Good, and four times three is? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, good. Okay. All right, um, Sydney, can you do the same thing? Four times four is? Sixteen. And three times four is? Uh, Sorry? Twenty one. Twelve, I think, not twenty one. Three times four. Now again, if you want to at this stage, you can say to yourself, well, this is going to be twelve as well, so I can change that to whatever that is, forty two over twelve. And go from there, but it will be the like this for now. Okay. All right, uh, Michaela, uh, twenty seven minus sixteen is eleven, yes. Right. Once we do that, we just repeat again. Same thing. What's the common denominator going to be? Uh, what's the common denominator going to be for um, 12 and 2? 12. 12 works. Perfect. Okay. You can time them if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to whoops. I'm just going to go um, equals 11 over 12 plus isn't too much. Is everyone okay where that came from? Be too brave and ask if you're not. Okay, that's good. You can change it to over 24. It'll just break the rules. Right? Like if you want to go to 22 over 24 plus 84 over 24, that'll be fine. You'll just need to divide by 2 on the last step. Okay. All right, 42 plus 11 is? I think that's all we can do. I don't think 53 can be divided by 3. Not that I'm 100% sure of it. Right. Okay, everyone close your eyes for a quick second, put that in their desks. Um, who's feeling good about fractions so far? Raise your hand. Who's feeling all right but could use some practice? Raise your hand. Who's feeling awful? Raise your hand. Okay, good for you, Will. Raise your hand, please. Okay, so that's just how I. Check to see how people are doing. For those of you that said they need practice, good. You'll have lots of practice tonight. Don't worry. It's called homework. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. Um, you'll be okay. Finally, the last one is multiplying and dividing fractions. And then we're going to head down to the staff room. Okay, multiplying fractions is the easiest thing in the world. Not even do a note on it, that's what you can do. I should mention in high school, we try and get away from the X for multiplying. Can anyone guess why I probably want to get rid of the X for multiplying? Yeah. It's usually a plus or yeah, very good. Okay, so we normally do dots or we'll do brackets. That's what those brackets are supposed to do. I'll do that for the next time. Like if something's a bracket and another bracket means time. Okay. All right. Uh, who am I up to? I think I'm up to Troy. Troy, I'm up to you. I'm pretty sure I am. I don't know. You might be. Let's see this side. I'll dash one. Troy, I'm up to you. 
Two, two, remember, for multiplying fractions, I'll help you out. All we do is multiply straight across. That's all you do. Okay. Use the two base root of 16 on the. So you just do 3 times 4 and 4 times 3. Yeah. So what we're going to. No, no, you don't need to worry about common denominators there. Okay. Oh, okay. So all you're going to do is this times this, and this times this. So 2 times 3 is 6, right? 3 times 4 is 12. All right, now, Cassidy, you're clearly not done with this question, right? What's our last step we have to do for this question? 6 over 12, I don't like. You go down to 2 over 4. 2 over 4 works, good. All right, Nathan, 2 over 4 still doesn't make me happy, though. Um, what makes me happier? Now, can I show you a trick way they can get to one half right away? Now, first of all, this confuses some students, so feel free to ignore this. Okay? You can watch this if you want to, but you can ignore it if you want. Are you ready? This can get to one half in one step. Now, what's 3 divided by 3? Uh, 3 divided by 3 just cancels out. And 2 divided by 4 is 1. So you can do that and just go on the left, put one on the top, and two on the bottom. Okay? If you don't like that, don't worry about it. It confuses half three quarters, it's not sure 90% of the students confuses. Okay, so don't worry about that. That works for every question. That works for every question. Every question. Okay, so you can cross things out like that. And when I get to calculus, when you guys get to calculus one day, you'll see me fly through fractions as quick as it be used today. All right, letter L. Oh, here's a nice one. Oh, here's a beautiful one. We should have started by this one. Okay, if you see brackets, what does that mean again? Multiply. multiply. Okay, so you're going to multiply. What's the very, very first thing? Hold on one second. I like your enthusiasm. Gotta hold on here. Is that the video you can already? Okay. Luke, we want to everyone say this. Wait. Luke, what's the very first thing when you see that question you want to do? Um, uh, very good. Very good. So what do you change for when you send it? Uh, Start with negative. It's okay. So it's a negative 33 over here. So I just wanted to remind you guys to make sure there's no questions on that. Okay? Um, 4 times 8 is 32. 32 plus 1 is 33, and the whole thing's negative. Okay? Now this is a big number, but I'm, I have great confidence in you, Helena. Sorry, I forgot your name there. I have great confidence in you. What is negative 33 over 8 times negative 3 over 4 going to equal? I have great confidence uh, in you. Negative, wait, the whole thing then? Yeah. Negative 99 over 30. Well, it's. No. Or you repeat. You can't, of course. Any issues with that? So I see one little issue. You're very good. You're multiplying a decimal. Yes. Very good. Right? Because remember, the first part's negative. And the second part's negative. That's where we start by this one. That's one of this one. All right, the part negative on the left, negative on the right. Everyone sort of see what happened there? Because that was a trick. I tried to throw a trick. I'm a math teacher. I'm a math teacher. Can you? Yeah. I don't think three works. For 32. I like what you're thinking, though. But it goes three times 10 is 30, three times 11 is 33. I like what you're thinking, though, right? You're already trying to do something wonderful. That's fine. Okay, I think we're going to do dividing, then we're going to head down and get our books. Okay? Sound good? Okay, dividing fractions. This is a lot today, I know. All right, I understand that.
Okay, so when you're dividing a fraction, we're going to divide these. We're going to flip the second fraction and multiply. You flip only the second fraction. Okay, you do not flip the left one. You just flip the one on the right. Okay. So I'll go to this and then we'll pick on you guys again. Okay. So what this is going to turn into, this is equivalent to two thirds times five over four. Hopefully you saw we did there. Four fifths just flipped. Five over four. Okay, and that's a multiplication question. Now simple as easy as pie, simple as whatever. <laughs> Ten over twelve. Let's break it down to five over six. We'll leave this fraction to fraction for the dividing process. So dividing and multiplying will be easier. Okay, O and P, how are you feeling about the world? Can't tell you one joke, you know, so. If your brother, like, you know this year, you know, if you go between the deer and the um, door and very cross over to the gym, there's all those handicap spots. Well, last year there was no handicap spots there, right? There was regular parking spots. And your brother parked there one day, and I, I just laid into him and said, what are you doing? Handicapped people can be parking there, and they're going to need a spot, and you're wasting your parking spot, and da 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 And then I asked the principal, and he goes, yeah, they're allowed to park there. So I um, sort of embarrassed myself. So I, I apologize as much as I could afterwards. Okay, you guys don't think I am. I'm sorry. You guys don't drive so All right, one last question, then we'll call it a day. First of all, have confidence in yourselves. This one looks awful, awful, awful. We haven't talked about one thing, but I'm going to remind you of something. Yes? Do we have to do bed mass? You have to always have to do bed mass in life. So if you're doing bed mass, what is the very first thing that we do? Brackets. I don't see any brackets. I'm going to leave that. What do we do next? Exponents. I don't see any exponents. What do we do next? Dividing. Dividing. So the very first thing we're going to do is this. Right here. So do that part first. Once you're on that, add that to three quarters and add to one third. Okay, and then there's your answer. I'm gonna hand out your homework. Okay, and then we'll go down there. Then we're gonna go down and get it back. So the homework slowly coming around the classroom. And after tonight, everything else will be out of the textbook, okay, so no more for uh, being after tonight.